You're watching Morning Mix. The most recent numbers of food insecurity in our area are in, and they are not good. New data showing a significant increase across our 25 county, 11,000 square mile area. Abby Mewfield is vice president of marketing at Golden Harvest Food Bank. It's an organization dedicated to dropping those numbers, and she is with us again this morning. And Abby, hey, good to see you. Hi, good to see you. So let's talk about these numbers. They were just released last week. Um, not as promising as we had hoped. Um, what are we looking at right now, number wise? So right now, um, Feeding America just released their annual Map the Meal Gap data, and we are seeing one in four kids in our community. It was one in six. It's, it's gone to one in four and one in seven individuals from one in nine. So not a great change. Uh, and what would you attribute this increase to? Well, so to be honest, we've been seeing this. We've been hearing from our agencies that it's been bad. We've been getting a lot of phone calls. So, so we knew, we didn't know quite the level. Um, we would attribute this though to um, the the programs for COVID that we used to have are no longer available. And so a lot of it is, is based on that because we were able to, to do a lot more. We had a lot more food to get out when we had those programs. Uh, and speaking of the programs, let's talk about Golden Harvest and what uh, the organization is doing to help combat uh, the food insecurity right now. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> Golden Harvest, we um, get food out into the community through our partner agencies and programs. So that's pantries, soup kitchens. We have owner, over 100, 350 partner agencies and programs that are out getting food out into the community. Also our child and um, senior feeding programs. So we do a backpack program for children mm -hmm. um, and we do uh, senior food boxes as well. Um, we have a new program for this summer called the Summer, I'm gonna try not to butcher it, Summer Harvest Family Food Box Program. Um, and that's for our, some of our rural counties this summer um, to get food like fresh produce and meats out into those communities. Um, how have you seen the demand change in recent years? I mean, we just mentioned the fact that there are some programs that were there for COVID that aren't there now. So we're kind of adapting as we go. Yes, um, <clears throat> right now it's, um, you know, we need the support of our community now more than ever. Um, it, during COVID, we obviously saw the lines of cars. It was, it was a lot. Thankfully, um, our community and um, just the, the programs that were created for COVID relief helped. I, we were able to get a lot more food out into the community, but now we don't have quite that same level of food going into our warehouse. Um, so really, you know, we just need the community support now more than ever. Uh, you mentioned some programs here that Golden Harvest does. I mean, there are some other ones as well, including the food table too. Can you expand oh, yeah, on that a little bit? Absolutely. So um, in addition to our, our partner agencies and programs, we have um, this, the Master's Table Soup Kitchen in downtown Augusta and an urban farm down there as well. Um, and so we're excited and we're also um, about to, in, in coming months, open a produce rescue center, um, which will allow us to bring more fresh produce into the community, which we're really excited about. Um, what new challenges do these numbers now represent here for our greater area? Not just for Golden Harvest, but overall. And, and overall, I mean, I think everybody sees it when they go to the grocery store. Prices are, are high. People are having to make hard decisions um, between paying for rent, child care, medicine. Um, and so it's just, you know, really getting getting the, the food into the warehouse so that we can get it out. We, we, we've seen this coming and we are prepared. That's why we've created, you know, the buildings that we've done. Um, it's just getting the community, especially during the summer. Summer's hard, harder for us to get volunteers and donations. So um, it's just th those typical challenges are just, we're feeling them a little bit more. Uh, to that point, how mm -hmm. can the community get involved if they want to? Yeah, absolutely. Well, financial donations are critical. Um, we, we really need them. We have a, we're able to, to basically take your dollar and make it go a lot further than if you went to Kroger or Publix because we have um, relationships with those vendors um, and we're able to, to buy more fresh produce to be able to get out to the community. Um, also volunteers, um, we need volunteers all the time. Um, and especially during the summer months, it's a lot harder just with people being on vacation. So volunteerism and then advocating just um, as, you know, things are going through, um, like right now with the farm bill, like just making sure that you're talking to your, your local congressmen and women and, and advocating for, for the programs that will help our neighbors in need. Uh, let's flip the script here for a second. Say I am someone that's in need of assistance. How would I go about that with Golden Harvest? So you can go on our website, goldenharvest.org, and you just click find help. And there's a food finder. You can type in your zip code, um, and it will pull up locations of pantries near you. All right. All great info to keep in mind, especially here for the oncoming summer season. Abby, thank you so much for joining us. We Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me.